everyone welcome to another vlog so today i'm going to be showing you the project that i made for manbin's birthday for this year i decided to make something different because last year was a really hard time for arohas since we lost someone dear to us everything that has happened last year i still can't believe that we have come to this point because I really thought that last year was gonna be the best year of my fan year life. It was the first time that I got to meet Moonbin when they went for a world tour here in our country. So it was March 25 in the Fusion in Manila. I even thought that I was at the peak of my fangirling life because I got to experience everything for just one year. Imagine I've I won a fan sign event and I got to talk to Moonbin and then after that I even met him in person, so everything was just surreal. I can't even believe that I would ever experience such a thing. But everything that has happened for the past few years, I never expected that something like this would ever happen. It was not even one month after I saw him in person that he was already gone. I never stand someone like the way I did with Moonbin and it was it was really hard for me <laughs> after he passed away i've been distancing myself on twitter because it was really hard for me to pretend like everything was okay when it wasn't so i just focused on doing all the things that could help ease my mind and take my mind away from the pain even if it never really left and whenever someone asks me, why do you love Moonbin so much? Why do you do those things that he doesn't even see? But that's the thing about Moonbin. He always appreciates what his fans do for him and he never fails to show that he does, that he sees everything. I can't even explain Moonbin's impact in my life and all I know is that he provided comfort during those days when I needed it the most. He's someone who became a source of my strength and inspiration to keep going. He has touched so many lives and he will always have a special place in my heart. So when I first started the whole, the first snow project, it was around July when I thought, what project can I make for Munbin's birthday next year? So I started this crazy idea of creating a film for him and I even asked my friends if they're gonna support it. At first I thought it was gonna be impossible because some people are just not ready for something like this yet. But the inspiration came from a dream that I've had when I was traveling somewhere last year. Munbin never failed to show his love for us, his fans, when he was still alive and I thought that it would be nice to give back all those love that he has given us all through the years and i really hope that through this film we get to commemorate his life and remember all the happy memories that we shared with astro and of course with Munbin. i also hope that it can provide comfort to those arohas who are still in the process of healing so the hardest part was thinking of a title for this film because i wanted to have a title that is very bin coded Me and my friends we had the brainstorming of ideas all we can think of was titles that have moon, universe, or anything that is related to Moonbin. But we really wanted something memorable, something that is related to him and also related to Arohas. So I thought that what was the most precious memory that we had with Moonbin? So I remembered his Be Live last year when he watched the first snow with Arohas and that moment was really an emotional one for me because it was just a random day from when Bin. He was just inside his car and I can't believe that the first thing that he ever thought of watching the first snow with together was us, his fans. And that's when I realized that Moonbin is really genuine when it comes to his love for his fans. And I also thought that the first snow was the perfect title for this film because he was born in winter and he loves winter. He always says that in his interviews and that's the reason why we came up with this title. So I started creating a storyboard around August last year and I got help from a lot of Arohas on Twitter 
where they also wanted to participate in this film. From their own personal stories and personal encounters with Moonbin, I came up with a storyboard and I related it to Moonbin's life as an idol, as an actor, as a brand ambassador, and everything about him. We had this what we call the first snow support team where I assigned some tasks for them. Some people were in charge of shooting and filming the whole thing and some were also in charge of uh, doing research of all the clips that is gonna be included in this film. We also prepared souvenirs and giveaways for the event and some people even reached out to us and gave Moonbin related freebies during the event. And it was really amazing to see how generous Arohas are and how much they really love Moonbin. The preparations for this film almost took 6 months. There were a lot of sleepless nights and it was never easy but it was all worth it. During that day of the film viewing, it was the first time that I got to see my Aroha friends once again after Bin's passing and it was the first time that we got to hug each other. It was a moment of healing and we found comfort in each other. I actually watched the film multiple times already before the film viewing because I had to revise and review some of them but during that day I got to watch it for the first time and it was really a roller coaster ride of emotions. It was the first time that I got to grieve properly and with my Aroha friends as well and I just know that we made Moonbin proud that day. So our dearest Moonbin, this one's for you and from all the people that love you. Happy birthday in heaven. Years from now, I'm going to be looking back to these memories with him with a happy heart. He will always be my ultimate bias. I hope this forest becomes a place where everyone will feel comfortable. Dalcom's PH team, I'm grateful to each and every one of you. This film wouldn't be possible without all of you. Thank you for all your sacrifices, for all the sleepless nights, and for being the best support system that I've had, not only for this event, but also when we were still grieving. Thank you so much for your comfort and for being my safe space.